Hey planner babes, it's Amber from Implanter Day and I just want to come on and share with you my top 10 recommended sticker books for planner newbies. So make sure you stay tuned. So today I'm going to show you more than 10 sticker books, but I guess you could say like I'm going to show you the top 10 categories of sticker books that I think are best for planner newbies. Um, and these are like really just to help you get started in planning and all those type of things. So the first one I recommend is a planner basic sticker book. They have one in classic and mini. This is a fairly old sticker book one of the very first four that they ever released but it is so perfect to plan with because it just it has everything in it so it has um your holidays in it it has holidays it has dinner plans um even some fitness stickers steps and weight trackers you've got your bill pays, you've got like chores, even some budgeting types of stickers. This sticker book is overall just perfect for a planner newbie. It just has everything that you could possibly need in it, even um, stuff like packing lists and um, all the things, all flight information, just everything you can, everything that you need is basically in Planner Basics and this is a really, really good basic sticker book. Um, so that's recommendation number one. Number two, I guess we'll go into these color stories. So my next recommendation is color story sticker books. Um, I do have a few here just to kind of show as examples. Um, any of these do just fine. If you like one style over another, just grab the one that you like the best. Um, but as a planner newbie, this is a great, these are great sticker books for making cohesive spreads right off the bat. So if you don't know what a color story is, it is five pages. So one, two, three, four, five that all match. So then once you go to this page, this is like the faith of that color story. So like these really light pastel colors don't really match these bright seasonal colors. But you can see that this is page one, two, three, four, and five of that like faith section. And then you go into like a squad girls type of thing. So that's kind of how a color story works. They are some of my favorites just sometimes when I'm feeling really lazy or like don't know not feeling inspired I'll just grab a color story and either pair it with a different sticker book or just keep it by itself because it's perfect by itself so they have um five for the classic and I'll just do quick little flips so you guys can see how those themes change so you got some bright some coastal stuff you got some unicorns and some of that be happy box which i loved i did that one this is the very first one right here and this one is seems a little older um, but it has a black and white it's got some pastels in here and just super super pretty some brights as well and then here we've got our um like pastel -y colors some florals some leaves like the monstera leaf ones the balloons travel and seasonal so color stories are great sticker books for beginners just because you can make a cohesive spread very very easily now the next i think i'd recommend is colorful boxes i have four here they do have more than four of these books but i just grabbed a few just to show you kind of what they are um they're exactly what you think they are colorful boxes so tons of different colors that can match any spread that you're doing. This is the second one of it. A little bit more of um, full boxes that are colored in. This is the third one, or this is not the third one. This is definitely a little bit of an older or newer one. This is the copper foil one. Really pretty colors in here. It's mostly um, like the copper foil. And then colorful shapes. This one's one of my favorites. I bought a lot when they went on clearance um, because I love the shapes. Just to add a little bit of dimension to your planner, to your spreads, the shapes are really great. But it's the same exact colors as that original 
colorful boxes. So colorful boxes are definitely a great sticker book to grab if you are new to planning. Any of them are just phenomenal. Okay, so that is the third one. Let's go into, okay, I think budget. Budget is great for a planner newbie, um, especially if this is something that you want to track. If, if budget isn't what you want to track, then maybe it's not for you, but um, I know a lot of people, you know, they need a plan and they plan out their budgets. And so these sticker books are great. You can track out your paydays, your bills, your debts, when things are due, just all the things. Um, and I love that about these budget stickers. And like some people use their monthly view for budgets. Um, some people have a separate budget planner. I mean, it's just really good to keep track of your savings, all the things in your planner. Um, if you don't know what to track in your planner, budget is probably a good one to keep on top of. Okay, the next one that I have, um, it's a similar to budget, but it's the household. So if household is not something that you would want to um, keep track of like you're not into cleaning your household I'm not into cleaning my household but it has to get done so the sticker book is such a staple for me um, and I think that it's great for planner newbie because this has this has a lot of really great stickers too um, but like I said if it's not for you then maybe you know if the household stuff is not for you then you just don't grab this one um, but I think it's great for planner newbies you do have even some bill do stuff in here and some grocery lists so not just like cleaning but um, like a menu but you have a lot of different options as well so then here we got like meal plan this is for meals and you have colorful stuff that's like a.m. p.m. all your cleaning stuff in different colors and then like all the rest of this is these black icons that are just perfect for chores. So like if you need to iron, do laundry, hang it up, whatever, dishes, um, maybe you're taking a bath, you got a dog, you're budgeting, or your car, anything like that, you got your vacuum, your trash cans. I mean this, I love these toilet paper when you need to buy more toilet paper. Um, you know you got your cleaning buckets. So this one is just a perfect staple sticker book. I think it's great for a planner newbie. Okay, next I'd say is appointments. If you don't know what to track in your budget or in your um, planner, appointments is a great thing to track. This is a newer sticker book and I think this is perfect um, because it's got your phone calls, it's got appointments, it's got different sizes. So even like these little um, half circles, bigger box appointments, all of these big old appointments in case you have like, maybe you have a lot in one day. Um, you've got, and then it just goes in different colors. So it's like rainbow. And I think that's just perfect. Um, and then in the back, you do have like hair appointment. Um, just this one just says appointment, so it could be for anything. And then you have what, where, when. So not necessarily for an appointment, but anything that you could have that's going on. Um, and then bigger boxes. So it just has literally every single thing that you could think of that's appointment based you can put it in your planner with this sticker book, even like you got your reschedules and all those things, which are just so important, canceled as well. So I think this is such a staple because if you don't know what to track in your planner, you know, something you have to plan is appointments and that is, this is a gr just a great sticker book. Um, I notice I hoard some of the appointment stickers, but like there's literally 600 appointment stickers in here. Why am I not using them? But we're going to be using these a lot more because as I talk to you guys, I'm like, wow, this is like what I need in my life. I have so many appointments. And now we will go into the handwritten plans. I think this is also a great staple because um, sometimes like if you don't want to write in your planner, you just want like a cute little handwriting or, you know, this is like birthday party, all the things like that. So this is just perfect for just adding like the details into your planner. You have a meetup, you know, you start, you finish, you have a concert, you have a meeting, you got your prescriptions up here, you got some like, and you can just put this time anywhere. Like if you have something at a certain time, you could just put the time so that you don't have to write time. Um, and I think this is just great. You got work and schedule class, just um, lessons, chores, We've got like email, meet, 
payment, exchange due, appointments, volunteer meetings. You got list, shopping, grocery. I mean, so like just such a very basic sticker book for when you don't want your handwriting in your planner. Um, this is a great, great, great sticker book for that. And this is definitely one of my favorites that is very new, just came out pretty recently. And this is a great staple. Okay, next, I think I recommend quote books for new planners. Be the reason I recommend quote books is because um, they're really easy to add, like to up your planner in a new and different way. Um, and like just add a little bit of flair and it just adds encouragement. I love having quotes in every single spread of mine. Um, and if I have a really, really not busy day, like a pretty chillax day, then a quote is what I add to that day. So this is quotes. This is the very first quotes book that ever came out. And it has the clear quotes, not clear quotes. It has all the stuff, all different types of quotes. And then we have the gold star quotes. This was a lot of people's favorites. I love it. It has a lot of clear quotes in here. And I just think it's gorgeous. And in the front, it even has some like, here's some fall quotes, some summer quotes, some spring quotes, some winter um, Christmas quotes. So it even has some seasonal aspects to it. So gold star quotes is another great one. And then one that I just added is encouragement because this is my favorite quotes book. I don't know if people really consider it a quotes book, but I totally do because it has amazing quotes. So this is probably like one of my favorite sticker books. Um, so it does have some function in here, but then you kind of get into your quotes. So here's paper quotes, and then you have pages on pages on pages of clear quotes. And then you do have some more function in here as well. So this is like, to me, a really good overall sticker book, but just the clear quotes in this book makes it worth it for me. And even just like some of these like read journal plans or some like wellness type of stuff. You have personal development, top priority me, quiet time, um, today's truth. So you have like some really good even wellness types of stickers in here, but just these quotes, this will be fine. You go girl. You are going to do great today. I mean, just amazing quotes. And I love this book. I love encouragement. Okay, the last two books that I have, number nine and number 10, let's talk about, let's talk about Rainbow first. We're gonna save seasonal for last. So this is a mega value pack sticker book. It has 100 stickers in it, 5,066. It has 100 sticker sheets, 5,066 stickers. And it's literally broken down like the rainbow and it has everything you could ever need. This sticker book is awesome. So as you can see, it just goes in the rainbow. You have quotes, you have checklists, you have boxes, colorful shapes, um, and then you have even just icons. And then you have, these are like, you can see that the whites, that's where the old stickers were, circle stickers. You even have like triangles, squares, hexagons up here. You even have quotes in all the colors. And then you have letters. I mean, this sticker book is literally has it all. And then you even have these like um, confetti. I don't know if that's what called, but I call them confetti. And then you have the next colors. And I just think that this sticker book is perfect for any newbie because it literally has everything you could ever need in it. Um, this one is just perfect. And then on this side, you have your pinks and purples going into some more shades of the blues and the greens. And that's basically it. So this sticker book is phenomenal for a planner newbie. Totally recommend this one. Um, I know it is a mega, so it does cost a little bit more, but you guys, this one is worth it. This one's worth, it's just the perfect overall value pack sticker book. Okay. And the last one I have is the all in a season mega value pack sticker book. Also 100 sticker sheets, um, 3,281 stickers. And so I actually buy, I actually bought this mega value pack and I split it with my mom. So if you don't know, um, I can show you with these, but mega value pack sticker books are the same two pages in a row. So you have this page and you have the same exact page. So it's just the same thing repeated. So you can see 
gold foil, not gold foil, but it's the same exact icons. So that's literally how they work. So I split it with my mom, but you guys look at this. You got your fall stickers, you got function in here, you got Halloween, you've got letters, and you got summer. We're going into, here's Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, um, and then some function. And then on this side, you have your holidays, smaller little icons. This has the holidays listed out, some traveling stuff, some really fun quotes. So this again, the sticker book's perfect. Um, Christmas and winter, and then there's some more. That's New Year cruising, stuff like that. Um, and then some more wintry type of stickers. And this is my favorite. This is one of my favorites when I remember to use it because sometimes I struggle remembering to use it. But that one is perfect for planner newbies um, because it's it's seasonal. Like you just can't go wrong with making a seasonal spread. Um, I'm trying to separate these like I had them. So these are kind of the ones that I recommend to planner newbies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So, there is all 10 of them. I know I showed way more than 10 sticker books, but like I said, it was really um, just to show you guys the different varieties and like types of sticker books that I would recommend for a newbie. And um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys agree with these for newbies or do you guys kind of think there's other options? And what do you think is the best for a planner newbie? Thanks so much for following along as I share my top 10 value pack sticker book suggestions for planner newbies. I hope that you will continue to follow along as I plan happy life and continue to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.